Good morning, hot dogs. DECA, Doghouse Committee, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Veterans Day is this Friday, so each day we will be honoring veterans that have served our country. From the Navy, Amanda Fields is being honored by Haley Campbell. Russell Dehan is being honored by Trinity Haverkamp. He is the best grandpa I could ever ask for. He's very special. From the Air Force, Arthur Fawcett is being honored by Felicity Chumley. He served for a few years and has some amazing stories about his time. He is the sweetest man you could ever meet. Sherman L. Anderson I is being honored by Lily Cooper. I wish he was still with us today. He has helped many people before he passed. Everyone loved him. From the Army, Everett Emery is being honored by Taryn Emery. Thank you for your service, Grandpa. Kendra Newhart is being honored by Felicity Chumley. She is small but very mighty. She will bend over backwards, give you the clothes on her back, drop anything she is doing just to help someone in need. I love her so very dearly. Mike Nicholas is being honored by Caitlin Fitch. Thomas Coleman is being honored by Jacob Burns. My grandpa is my inspiration for entering the armed services. Tony Flack is being honored by Lily Cooper. He is an awesome person and has helped our town so much. William Ramsey is being honored by Riley Ramsey. My grandpa may be a little grumpy and antisocial, but I always love listening to him tell stories about his, the time he served. Thank you to all these veterans for serving our country. We have a short segment from our third episode of Tradition of Excellence with Jacob Craig, where we will be giving us a little bit of advice. Uh, how did high school prepare you for what you're doing now? Uh, so high school, uh, isn't necessarily what like I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Like high school for a lot of people, high school is kind of just something you get through. Um, yeah. And you sit in a class and you just need to get through it. And uh, as much as that sucks, it actually teaches you how to to get through things that you don't want to do. Because in life, there's going to be things that you don't want to do. And just having that ability to just kind of persevere and get through the things that you got to do, even if you don't necessarily want to do them. Um, is, a, is a good tool to have in your belt. You can find the full third episode of Tradition of Excellence with Jacob Craig out now on the Hot Dog Network YouTube channel or in the chatter. Now we're going to send it off to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Last night, the Lady Hot Dogs hosted the Elwood Panthers. Using a 12-point first quarter, the Lady Hot Dogs were able to build momentum as they were able to force turnovers and create some easy buckets with their defensive pressure. At halftime, the Lady Hot Dogs were up 22-15 to 15 and managed to push the lead to 12 in the middle of the third quarter. Elwood made a run to get close, making it a three-point lead, heading into the latter part of the fourth. The Hot Dogs were able to knock down some big shots and get some key defensive stops to secure the win. The Lady Hot Dogs were led in scoring by Gwen Vanessa Guajardo's 14, 14, Zoe Westerman's 9, and Sarai Flores' 6. The Lady Dogs are back in action traveling to Western on Friday night for a JV and varsity contest starting at 6 p.m. That's all for sports. Now let's send it to Austin for the weather report. Thanks, Austin. This morning when we were walking into school, it was about 43 degrees. The high for today is 71 and the low is 41. Today and tomorrow are the last two days of the warm weather, so get ready. That's all for weather. Now back to your hosts. And DECA, Backpack Buddy News. Every Wednesday, we highlight the DECA's member who created the week's Buddy Backpack menu. As well, we give out a shout out to the community class or organization who fills the week's body bag. Frankfurt DECA's Community Service Project provides weekend buddy bags to Frankfurt K through 12 students. Thank you to the first year member, Cesar Alaniz, for creating the week's 10 menu. A shout out goes to Ms. Garcia's community class for filling week's 10 buddy bag. 111 buddy bags will be sent home this weekend. Student Council is having a sock drive on November 14th to 18th. Students and staff will be competing with each other on who can get the most socks collected. Our community is in need of socks. You can also drop them off at student services and cash donations would also be accepted in Ms. Maudie's room. 
A quick, a quick reminder that the Doghouse Committee is selling holiday hot dog t-shirts. If you are interested, please make sure to pay the exact total and cash only. Orders will be due in the office by Monday, November 14th. More information about this will be posted in the chatter. A happy birthday goes out to Anna Beardsley, Ev Evans Mach Machora, Brody McKenzie, and Jalen O'Brien, and Soraya Val Valencia for lunches. For lunch today, lines one and two is chicken smackers, lines three and four is Big Daddy Pizza, and sides are smashed potatoes, green beans, and a salad. We're halfway through the week, dogs. Only two days left until we enjoy our weekend. Have a happy Wednesday.